gorgeous live look at Santa Monica on this Sunday morning. It looks beautiful. Too early for my surfer friends to be out, <laughs> but I'm sure they'll get there. You keep talking about this surfing because thing. Because I want to be a surfer. That is who I want to be in this world, Rachel. All right. It's I'll be watching. 6.13 now. Welcome back. I would appreciate it if you drop the shade every time <laughs> I mention my dreams. Alex, I don't feel like she's being supportive of my dreams. <laughs> and, you know, it might be a little too cold to surf. Maybe. You know, I have to say, I'm surprised your surfer friends aren't out there. She <laughs> okay. It's about time. They right? are a dedicated crew. They are. Dedicated to <laughs> leisure. Early that on is a Sunday. I want to be. Watch the sunrise on the yeah. water. Beautiful, yeah. right? But yes, cold. Mm. You need the wetsuit. <laughs> Absolutely. I don't even think that's going to keep you warm. <laughs> We've got uh, very chilly temperatures this morning. We are talking uh, 30s, 40s, and even 50s. Looking live over downtown Los Angeles, and what a beautiful sight. I mean, we are looking at a clear sky. We will see a mix of clouds today. That will be in the mix as we head into this afternoon. The big story will be the warmer temperatures. So we are talking 80s as we head into Tuesday. Some spots even hanging on to the 80s through Wednesday. And then temperatures will drop off as we head into Friday. Now, we're not looking at any significant rain as we head into the next seven days. I know lots of people wondering, you know, when we can start to see some of that wet weather. But unfortunately, that is not in the uh, forecast as we head into the extended period. We will see some clouds again in the mix as we head through this afternoon and especially into tomorrow as well. And temperatures today will primarily be in the 60s and low 70s across Riverside. We will have upper 60s by this afternoon, but yes, a chilly start to the day. 44 degrees, bundle up, upper 50s by 10 o'clock this morning. Seeing those clouds increase as we head into this evening with temperatures dropping down into the 50s. So this area of high pressure that is building in, this is going to help bring us those offshore winds. Uh, weak Santa Ana winds and it is sending all the rain and snow uh, to the north of us. So uh, most of the Pacific Northwest expected to actually see some impressive rainfall totals over the next few days for us. We are not expecting any rain. We will see dry conditions, in fact, warmer temperatures as we head through Tuesday and into Wednesday. But feeling those changes as we head into the end of the week, especially by Thursday, as we will see wind shift on shore, we will see more marine layer clouds and rain up toward uh, northern California. But we are just still at the southern end of this, and I don't expect to see any wet weather. Across the Inland Empire, temperatures going from low 70s today to mid 70s tomorrow and low 80s by Tuesday. Some spots still hanging on to low 80s by Wednesday, but for the most part, temperatures will drop a few degrees Wednesday and then continue to drop as we head into Friday. So Tuesday, low 80s, Friday, upper 60s, a little bit of weather whiplash, but we'll have a little bit of padding in between, right? As temperatures drop down to the low 70s, Thursday, 60s by Friday and into next weekend. That is your next weather forecast, Rachel and Sheba, back to you. All right, Alex, thank you so much.